Hello everyone, Stop and Play here. Today we're going to be reviewing LEGO Jurassic World's Conotaurus Dinosaur Chase. This is part of the LEGO Jurassic World set series that got released here recently. And today we're going to be looking at the packaging, the dinosaur, minifigs, and the vehicles included in this set. So without further ado, let's stop talking and start reviewing. Starting off with the packaging. As you can see here on the front, we get a nice piece of artwork of the LEGO set with the Conotaurus chasing the minifigs in the truck and Owen Grady in the helicopter chasing the Conotaurus. We get the LEGO and Jurassic World LEGOs, the set age, set number, set name, and number of pieces included. We also get the included dinosaur and minifigs down here at the bottom with a nice piece of artwork of Owen Grady and blue. At the top here we get LEGO and Jurassic World, the included minifigs and dinosaur again, and actual size picture minifig of Owen Grady. On the right we get Lego Jurassic World, Lego Life, and the front of the box artwork again. On the bottom Lego Jurassic World, Recycle, Universal, Legalese, and Barcode. On the left we get the Lego Jurassic World, set name in different languages, and box art again. On the back, we get a nice overall picture of the LEGO set with the Conotaurus finally captured in his cage and all the minifigures here in the front. We get a top-down view of inside the cab of the truck, articulation of the Conotaurus, and some stud shooter action on the helicopter. And that is it for the packaging. Next we have the minifigs and dinosaur included in this set. I'm going to start off with the minifigs and work my way to the Conotaurus. The first minifig we have here is Owen Grady. Nothing special about him, we get him in almost every Jurassic World set, if not all. You just get his basic hair sculpt along with two different faces, one where he has a more stern look and one with his cocked eyebrow. For his torso piece. You do get his basic vest and shirt and some nice printing for a belt on his pants. He does get a little bit of back printing of his vest, but other than that it's your basic Lego Jurassic World Owen Grady. That is it for Owen Grady. Next we have Sammy who appears to have fallen over. She is the only minifig in this set that comes with an accessory. And it's like this little shock probe here. That way if the Conotaurus gets close enough, maybe you could shock it and deter it. But let's all face it, if you end up shocking a Conotaurus, you're probably the next thing on its menu. As far as the actual minifig itself, we do get nice short black hair. She also comes with two different faces, including a scared one, and one where she's happy. For her torso, we do get some nice printing of some flowers and leaves that extends all the way to the back of the minifig as well. As far as her pants, it's just basic blue legs, but I think the torso makes up for the lack of printing in the legs. An overall good figure in this set, and that is it for Sammy. The last minifig we have is Kenji. This is the person that's driving the truck in the box art. He's got some nice spiky black hair. He also comes with two different faces, including a scared one and one where he's smiling with a cocked eyebrow. He comes with a blue shirt for torso that has some wrinkles here on the front and some on the back just to give it a little bit more detail. This minifig also comes with shorts as you can see between his boots and shorts there's his skin however it does not extend all the way around the minifig which is okay because if you're buying the sets you're honestly going to be buying it for the dinosaur. The minifigs are just an added bonus. So that is it for Kenji. 
And now for the star of this LEGO set, the LEGO Conotaurus. Now this is not the first time that we're getting a LEGO Conotaurus in the Jurassic World lineup. We actually got one way back when in another LEGO set, shown here. As you can see in this LEGO set, the Conotaurus differs from the 2021 Conotaurus in the fact that it has a different print pattern. This is a good thing. That way if you bought the LEGO set in the past, your LEGO Conotaurus still holds its value. And if you decide to buy this LEGO set, you're getting a totally different Conotaurus from that one. However, with the release of this set, it gives people another opportunity to get a LEGO Conotaurus to add to their collection if they so desire. That way they do not have to pay the outrageous prices for that old Conotaurus on eBay or Amazon. But getting back to our Conotaurus, as we take a look, we can see its print pattern has some nice stripes all the way down its back and down its tail. The printing extends to its legs and on the face. If we take a look up at the head, we do get to see some nice orange eyes of the Conotaurus. as well as a nice scar across the face of this Conotaurus. As far as articulation goes, the tail does spin all the way around. Its legs can move forwards and backwards. However, if you do go far enough either way, they will pop out. And the arms in the front can move up and down. Then with the head, it can move up and down as well as well as turn all the way around its jaw can be open and closed that way you can have it snacking on whatever you would like but other than that that is it for articulation for this kind of Taurus next we have the vehicle builds of this Lego set including a Lego Jurassic World truck and helicopter I'm going to start off with the helicopter. This helicopter is a basic build, however, the rotors do turn on top and the back. The cockpit does lift open, allowing you to put a minifig on the inside with a little steering mechanism for them to control the helicopter. On both sides, we do get a sticker on a circle plate of the Jurassic World symbol as well as a stud shooter mounted on the side. That way you can fire it at the Conotaurus. But that is it for the helicopter. Moving on to the truck. We do have a nice sticker on the hood here of the Jurassic World symbol with three scratch marks on the hood. The roof can be removed allowing you to view the inside of the cab. You can have a minifig sitting in the driver's seat, passenger seat, and here in the back. Putting the roof back on. The doors do open, allowing you to slide minifigures on the inside. You get a nice bed in the back of the truck, and the tailgate does lift down. You get six wheels on this truck, and it does roll pretty nicely. That is it for the truck. And there you have it folks, Lego Jurassic World Conotaurus Dinosaur Chase. Now if you're like me, you probably bought the set just for the Lego Conotaurus. I actually have intentions on using this LEGO Conotaurus in a LEGO custom build that me and my brother developed. I have plans on doing a video reveal of this LEGO custom build on our YouTube channel, but in order for that to happen, I need to get at least 10 subscribers for our channel. We already have 6, so only 4 more is needed, that way you can see our LEGO custom build. So if you haven't already, go and subscribe. Back to the LEGO set we have before us. As an overall LEGO set, this is a great one to have. It's only $50 in stores near you, so if you ended up liking it, go check it out. 
you get a nice range of minifigs. And of course, you're going to get the same one, Owen Grady, over and over. So that's a little bit disappointing, but it's understandable since this is Jurassic World. You get nice two vehicular builds. I'm really excited about the truck, but the helicopter I could have done without. And like I said before, the LEGO Conotaurus is just the icing on top. I am so glad that LEGO decided to release another LEGO Conotaurus set. That way I didn't have to go back and buy the previous one for outrageous amount of money on eBay or Amazon. Even on Bricklink, the old LEGO Conotaurus can run you about $50, which is just how much this LEGO set is altogether. But that's my thoughts on the LEGO Conotaurus Dinosaur Chase. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like the set of minifigures you got? Do you like that we got another LEGO Conotaurus? Or would you rather gotten a different LEGO Dinosaur mold? And as always, please be sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. That way you can help our channel to grow. And remember, 10 subscribers, you'll get to see our custom LEGO build including this LEGO Conotaurus. Thanks for watching.